All right, guys, welcome to episode 134 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, Low Key. Got John here with me. We're back with another one, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit that like button. Hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we drop. Go to Teespring, get yourself a little merch. You know what I'm saying? Share with a friend, whatever. Whatever. Just let us know if you're rocking. If you're not, if you rock out with your cock out, we rock with you, though. We rock with you, for sure. We rocking with you. But we back, episode 134. How we feeling, Johnny Boy? How we feeling? Feeling good. Feeling good, man. Beautiful fucking, Tuesday, man. It's a beautiful fucking week. You know what I mean? I hope everybody's starting out their week really good. Stay positive. You know what I mean? Some people don't like Mondays and Tuesdays, bro. They wake up, they're like, ah, fuck it, bro. You know? But I fucking take every day by the day. You know what I mean? So that's just how I am, man. You wow. Nice Round of applause yeah. to that. That was philosophical. It was like fucking straight out of a textbook or something. Uh, holy shit. Crazy. That's a wild situation to be in. It's a wild situation to be in. If man. anybody's driving and listening to us, man, fucking put your seatbelt on, man. Put your seatbelt on. You know what I'm saying? What Crack your window so the fucking smoke evacuates. <laughs> you my know dog, what I'm saying? My dog's smoking a bag of dust, man. Bro, I'm smoking <laughs> nothing but fucking yard mulch right now. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It looks hey, like yard he's, mulch gang. Yeah. If you with me, you with me. If you know y'all, what I'm saying? If y'all can see the bag right now, that bitch nah, is yellow. That shit's <laughs> like fucking, like a hoax fucking powder or some shit. Bro, that shit looks like like cellophane from a cigar. You ever seen this? When they age yeah. a cigar and you pop it out, that bitch is yellow? Yeah. That's your weed. Hey, bro. That shit's smoking, though. <laughs> that shit's that smoking. Is, that shit probably tastes like fish. Hey, bro. It tastes, like, it tastes like fucking amazingness. It tastes like... Uh, you know, tangerine. <laughs> you know what's amazing to me? You know what really surprises me? Let's hear it, Mav. What grinds your gears? <laughs> it don't really grab my gears. It's just, you know, I'm I'm very observant. You know, I watch certain things, you know. And uh, I notice a lot of people, bro. Like when I when I was when I was growing up, bro, when I went on vacations, my parents never went on vacation without me unless it was their honeymoon. That's a fact. Dead ass. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like we grew up in that generation where like parents weren't just leaving kids and going places like that. Yeah, that's like I mean, I don't know. At least that's how I, that's how I was raised. That's yeah, how you were raised. You yeah. Know? Like, like there was never a time where it was just like, oh, yeah, you know, me and your dad are just going to go on vacation and leave you here. Yeah, nah. Nah. Yeah, that's kind of weird to me. I don't know. Everybody's different though. Yeah, like, man, everybody has a different family system, you know what I mean, but I don't know, man. I feel like you should probably take your kids. No, like, I they, think that'd I, be an experience they might enjoy. I understand it if they're like, I mean, if they're little or something like that, if they're not going to remember, I understand it more. Yeah, but if they are, then maybe you should wait. Or I don't know, bro. Like, you got to live your life, too. But, like, I get it. I get what you're saying. Yeah. Like, I just wouldn't, I wouldn't leave my, my kids with somebody and be like, here, you know, and then I'm going to go fucking... Out to Jamaica for a fucking week. I'm gonna go out to fucking <laughs> like for real. That's, that's what they be doing. You yeah, know what nah, I mean? And hey. I've seen people do it like that. They just be like, ah, fuck it. You know, just yeah, I don't. I don't really care. But then again, like if the if the kid is too small, they're not gonna remember. Then I get it. I get it. But once they get to a certain age, like I really feel like those type of experiences. Yeah, they they would enjoy it too. Yeah, and they'll learn more from it. They, I feel like it's. I don't know, man. A lot of people don't have the opportunity to go to a lot of places. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So it's like, if you can take your kid, bro, take your kid, man. Like, yeah, that's probably somewhere that somebody that's in their 50s and 60s has wanted to go their whole life and they just haven't been able to. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Like the experiences that I had when I was growing up, I was like, man, like, this is crazy. And my mom would tell me, she's like, remember this? Because this is a lot of, you know, this is. A lot of experiences you're going to remember growing up and you're going to appreciate, you know, and it's true, bro. I look back, I'm like, man, like I had a lot of good experiences, you know, family vacations and Mm -hmm. shit like that. But everyone's different, bro. Again, you know, everybody has their own shit. Everybody does their own thing. But that's yeah, the way man. I look at it, bro. Take take your kids. Make it normal. Yeah, it. Like, like there was a meme that be said. Be a family. Yeah. <laughs> be a family, bro. Like if you say you're a family man, don't fucking leave your kids out on vacation. Like when you're on vacation. That's like, a fact. Don't say you're a family person and do that. Let's just keep it a buck. That's some real shit. Yeah, if I, you, I don't know. I don't know. Everybody's different. But for me, if I can't afford as a man, if I if my whole family can't afford to go or my whole family can't go, then, then we're I'm, not then going. I'm going. 
that's what I'm that's what I'm saying. Like it's not gonna be all oh, well, we could only afford for me and my wife or me and one of the kids or my wife and one of the kids or some stupid shit. It's like, bro, we might as well just not do it then. Yeah, unless it's yeah. like your your wedding anniversary or something, that's different. Yeah. That's totally yeah, yeah, yeah. different. That's irrelevant. Nah, yeah. Leave yeah. the kids at at grandma's and grandpa's for a fucking day. Yeah. For a weekend, you, you know? know like, a couple yeah. days. Yeah. We'll come back on Sunday, late Sunday, we'll pick them up. That's different. That's a whole another fucking scenario. Like that's not even like close to what we're talking about. You know what I mean? But like a lot of people say that they're a family man or a family fucking person and they just leave their kids. So what do you guys yeah, think? Guys, you know, listen, do, don't do you be leave? a piece of shit. Yeah. Don't be a piece of don't, shit. Don't Straight be a piece of shit. Because I know a lot of our friends that recently just had kids and they take their kids. Yeah, bro. They take their kids nah, with them. Sa- salute to the fucking newer parents that are doing this shit like they've been around before. Like they've done it before, bro. Yeah. Like I know a few of my friends where I'm like, yo, I'm fucking proud of you, man. Cause yeah. y- y'all doing the damn thing with these kids, bro. Y- yeah, like, damn. Y'all y'all having another one? Shit. Yeah. Like nothing. Round of like, you know? for the for the second baby. You know what I mean? Like, listen, man. Not dead ass. Like I feel like you gotta you gotta fucking you gotta be a family, move as a family, you're a unit. You know what I'm saying? Move like one. It's so kids, simple. Kids that was so simple. Shit, kids hold shit in, and there's resentment for that type of shit. Yeah, you know they, they're saying? gonna remember that shit. Facts. They will. They'll Facts. be like, you remember when you fucking went to Barbados and you fucking uh, you, you left, left me in fucking projects. I was like 13 years old. With Uncle Ricky, yeah. <laughs> he fucking sitting here snoring on the couch and shit. There's there's a lot of bad things that can happen to you throughout that time, you know, and um, that's one of them, you know. Yeah, no, nah, that's facts. That's, that's facts. one of them. But listen, man, there's people out here that, you know, they like to go skydiving. There's people that like to go fucking fishing. There's people that like to go pinball and whatever. And then there's people that like to fake their own death and start a whole new fucking life. All right. That was totally left. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking we're talking about something else. And he comes nah, out with bro, that. Listen, oh my everybody God. has their thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Some guys change their identity. They fake their fucking death. They can't stand their life so much, bro. They hate their fucking wives. They hate their lives. They hate yeah. everything. Yeah. And they're like, you know what, bro? I'm out. I'm going to fucking go fishing today. Nah, that ass. Nah. Hop out the boat, bitch. <laughs> Go it, swim into an island. Like start for, a whole new life. For you to start over completely, like whole new like name, whole new everything, like that's 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 tough. Like for you First to just, of all, you have connections. For you to just drop everything and go, bro. That's that's a, no, no. That's, you either a psychopath or you really just don't give a fuck. Like nah. you just like you know what, bro. Like I'm out. Like I just don't. I'm I'm out, bro. Like you you that you must be that tired of the life you live. Bro. What make yeah? What gets you to that point where you just gotta like just start over here? Like you know what? My name's not John anymore. <laughs> I'm just going to move to Tennessee. I'm gonna, just call me Ricky. and uh, <laughs> Call me Ricky Bobby. Call me Ricky Bobby. All right? <laughs> that ass. And um, I'm just going to fucking shave my head and fucking, you know. I well, mean, actually, I'll just grow it back. Yeah, yeah, you grow your hair. Oh, I can't grow it back. But you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you guys get what I'm fucking saying. But yeah, that's that's a that's a crazy situation, man. Like, I, I you be hearing shit like that. Like, you know, in movies, like, I'm oh, starting over. But people really do that shit. Yeah. Like, people really just fucking, you know what? Like. I don't want to do this anymore. It happens, man. I guess I, I've never though. gotten to that stage in my life. But usually, the people that do that is like people that are like running from the law and don't want to ever be arrested. Yeah, yeah. You know and there's people that get away. Oh no, no there's. Bro, listen. There's a lot of people in prison, but you got to think about how many more people are out of prison, and all the criminals ain't in prison. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, there's, there, bro. This world is so corrupt. Like, it's not even fucking funny, bro. This world is fucking corrupt. This world is corrupt. God damn it. You know what's fucking really corrupt? I don't know if you heard about this actor that fucking shot this dude or shot this whole oh, on accident. No, don't, don't do that to I'm him. I'm sorry, bro. but that, I, I don't know why. It's, it's, not, not, it's not even a topic we even fucking brought yeah, up to speak but about. It's but not, it's, just fucking, it's not his fault. It's bro. not his fault, but who the fuck loaded it? Some guy that wasn't supposed to. They're That's saying, a setup. They're saying that it was a guy that wasn't part of the actual like team. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I guess 
I don't know. I guess he was just trying to help and put up a real fucking bullet in there like an idiot. I don't know. Imagine you're just there on set and you see that. Like, nah, you're just bro, like. That's sad. There's been. Uh, Bruce Lee got killed yeah, like that. Exactly. I but, think his son did too. But how many years I ago was that? His son did too. And I'm. Yeah, it's that's just weird to me. Like, weird. There, there's a lot of ways to kill people. Oh, no. and, and if you do it the right way, like, that's the right way. Oh, right it's there. an accidental movie set. Come on. That's like, the most oh, perfect no, way to kill somebody. No. Seriously. If you think about it. I don't understand because she's a, she wasn't even an actress. Like she was like the camera woman or some shit. I don't know. They were practicing a scene. <laughs> oh my god, that's not even funny, bro. Listen, it's just I a, feel, it, listen, nah, for real. My condolences go out to yeah. her family, to her fans, um, to her colleagues. Because whether it's a setup or not, I'm pretty sure most people on that set didn't know that was going to happen. So imagine you're just at work, you're just doing your thing over setting up camera angles, boom, she's fucking dead. Like, that's traumatic, bro. Especially if you're really not the person that, like, if you're not in charge of handling, like, that's not your department, bro, you don't fucking know about that. That nigga probably never held a real gun in his life. Like, he's an actor, bro. You see, you know what I'm saying? Like... Now, but, I guess there's a petition going out now that, you know, <laughs> not to use real guns on fucking sets. I don't understand. I don't that, understand like, why. Why? Like, I, thought, listen, there, I bro, thought we already reached that point in technology where yeah, we don't use real guns. On I sets. thought that, like, <laughs> we had, like, the technology to make shit look super real without having to actually be real. Like, I don't know, man. It is what it is, though. Like, rest in peace to her, man. And I, and I hope. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nobody if, else if, goes if, through that shit because that's bullshit. If bro. it was on purpose, call, you guys did a good job. If it was on purpose. If it was on purpose, you're a fucking piece of shit, but you got away with it. Yeah, you got and away with you, it. If you didn't do it on purpose, which I really believe it wasn't, a, a, I just don't think it was on purpose. There's no reason to take her out. Like Illuminati. My nuts Sell your body. Sack. My nutsack, bro. That would fucking it's just, Yeah, it's, it's an accident, freak accident. Yeah, it just yeah, happens. That's, that's literally what it that happens. is. happens. Shit happens, bro. That's a but fucking crazy Listen, man, show. you know what happens is uh, they say that women, that women prefer stability. You know what I'm saying? Women prefer stability over physical attraction. What do you think yeah. about that, Johnny boy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, st- yeah, that's that's a big, big part of it. You know what I'm saying? Like women want to feel secured. They don't want to they don't want to be with nobody broke, man. Let's just keep it a buck. They don't want to be with nobody broke. They want to be able to like, yo, if I get fired, like my husband got me. You know what I mean? And likewise, that would be awesome. You know, but, but I don't know, man. But do you I think f- that that's fucking cap. <laughs> I've seen do, it, bro. Do they put do? They, oh, trust me. I've seen it. I've seen, it's oh, cap. Bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, no, fucking it's, cap. It, it's cap. It's cap because I've seen some shit. You know what I mean? We both seen some shit. But do I think? Listen, bro, I'm going I'm to let y'all ladies know what. And yeah. y'all could go down in the comments and let me know if I'm wrong or not. A low down, dirty motherfucker that got no place to stay is gonna fuck you way better than a nigga that got shit to do all day and is coming home fucking tired because he got to get up in the morning and go back to fucking work. I've seen it. Yeah, yeah, I've I've heard These, of it. I've, bro, <laughs> listen, man. Trust me. Listen, man. Good dick could get you in the door, bro. Yeah. Good dick could get you in the door. It'll get you right through the door like Heaven's Gates. All right. <laughs> and I'll tell you what. That was bad. I shouldn't have that fucking compared those two together. No, no, no. You can't go back. You said it. No, I said it. I said it. I said it. But yeah, I've seen some shit, okay? And I've done some shit. All right? I'm not going to sit here and act like a fucking angel, guys. Like, come nah, on, facts. man. Like, we all, all done some we shit. We all got that yin and yang, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's Straight like a balance, up. bro. You know? But you facts. learn from it. You learn from it. I used to be a piece of shit, too, guys. Believe it or not. And I got homegirls. I grew up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We got, we got homegirls. You know what I'm saying? Like, girls that we don't fuck, but we know. Nah, like, facts. Like, they, they put they us on us. game, yeah, bro. Yeah, and they tell us. like, listen, man. Like... One of my homegirls, she was just like, you know, she's talking to somebody else. She's already in a relationship with this dude for about seven months. You know, his, uh, I don't know if he just didn't have a sex drive and he just, you know, he didn't, he, he just didn't like to fuck all the time. And there's guys like that. Yeah. Where they just can't do now, it. There's guys that they might like to fuck like once a week. And there's girls that, yeah, they need that shit every other day, every day. And then she's telling me, she's literally telling me about like, oh man, like I, you know, my baby daddy's crazy. You know, he was fucking, he would 
fucking breaking my house and shit like that. Do what crazy shit fuck? like that. But she's like, yo, but his dick game was just crazy. It was awesome. I'm telling you. Do you see what I'm saying? No, no, listen, like, you listen, can listen, literally listen. break I it to this woman's house. Break in her house, set her fucking <laughs> car on fire, <laughs> drag her fucking <laughs> dog into the backyard and spray him with the hose. Yeah. Like, spray it with bro, the hose. As fucking... long as you... Nah, don't kill them. No. Like, oh. I got a fucking heart. Oh, man. damn. I'm not a piece of shit. You know what I mean? Nah, but nah, nah, nah. I've seen some <laughs> shit, bro. Yeah, yeah. I've seen some shit. And and I've done some shit, bro. And it's like, bro, listen, it's it's weird, but guys, listen, your bitch will leave you for some good dick. As sad as it sounds, and she'll take care of the nigga that she's leaving you for if the dick is good enough. I've seen this shit with my own eyes, bro. And there's niggas that that is their occupation is handing out dick appointments, and they <laughs> fucked them so good, bro. They always have a place to stay. Niggas don't pay no rent. Yeah, niggas, no. don't, niggas be pulling up like, yo, bro, I got, I got a car for the weekend. What's up? What we doing? You want to talk I about? I swear, bro. <laughs> I've never seen. You know, nowadays, you know, loyalty is not really there when it when it's in relationships. But I'll tell you what. That's fact. You being that dude that's giving this. I mean, you you being that dude that's giving that woman fucking really good dick. She's gonna be so fucking loyal to you. She'll fucking do anything. Listen, for you. Listen, you know what's crazy? She'll hold that's some kilos more, for your That's ass. more security and that's more stability than most niggas can could give you because you know you know a lot of things about him you know that he ain't shit you yeah. know he ain't bringing nothing to the table but dick yeah so that's your stability that's your security that you could be secure in the fact that he ain't shit he ain't gonna bring shit but he's gonna fuck the dog shit out of you bitch that goes a long way yeah that goes a fucking long yo, way that would because sometimes these niggas be trying to whine and dine a little too much like yo shut the fuck up nigga. yeah just like, shut up and do something like she's waiting for you to yeah. fucking do something you're standing there like a fucking dick tip. and don't get me wrong like i've paid for pussy but like taking them out doing certain things maybe i took a shot everybody at, pays you for know pussy what i'm saying you're gonna have to certain, yeah, yeah you're gonna have to pay it somehow right but there's most of the time you know when it came to the sex of doing that, it wasn't really that great. Mm -hmm. It's weird. But then, like, the ones that you didn't really try, you're just like, listen, like, this is what it is. Like, we're going to fuck for the first time after just chilling one time. Like, mm -hmm. and it ends up being great. It's crazy. No, listen, bro. It's wild. Ultimately, bro, it's sex is an animal instinct. Right? Sex is an animal instinct. You got to be the fucking, you got to be the aggressor in that situation, bro. Yeah. You have to be. You have to be. You got to be assertive. You got to be the dominant one. Yep. That's just my belief. Some niggas just lay back and whatever. Like, let a bitch ride them. And that's it. Fall asleep. That's not how you keep it, bitch, bro. Like, you got to you gotta give it to her, bro. The, the wrong, same way you want to be fucked right, bro, she wants to be fucked right. The worst you know thing, that, the worst thing that you could say to a woman is, I will never leave you. You've done it? No. Have you it, told a girl you wouldn't leave her? Well, Have you from, ever told I mean, a girl it's I'm, forever and ever? And that's where you fuck up. Yeah, You can't tell them that because yeah. mentally in their head, they're like, okay, so this guy, I can do whatever the fuck I want yeah, for him. Yeah, he's never going to leave. And he's never going to leave. Yeah. Women are afraid when- Psychological when, nah, shit. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm toxic. Listen, you know what bro, I mean? Nah, listen, I mean, no. If they know, if they know that, like, damn, he might leave my- He don't give a fuck. No, nah, no, nah, for like, real. Like, he will fucking not talk to me ever again. Like, look. That's how John is and that's how I am. I won't talk to you ever again. And yo, they just it, love it. It sounds crazy, bro, but, you, like, you got to have the type of confidence where it's like, bitch, what do you bring to the table? What are you going to do for me? Facts. Like, what do you, how do you add to my plate? Because I'm eating good. Yeah, I'm, I'm living I'm lavish. I'm chilling. We're cooling. I cook for myself. I clean for myself. Facts. I take care of it. Like, yeah. I, like, I feel like women find that attractive in a man where it's like, I don't need you. I want you. Like, and you show that in your actions. It's like, I don't need you for nothing for cooking for cleaning for fucking nothing not I don't even getting you. a nut off if i don't you yeah. know what i'm saying yeah but i want you around i like your company yeah yeah, yeah. you know what i'm saying and that says right? a lot that speaks volumes right there when it's like oh wow you know he doesn't need me but he still wants me around yeah that's that's, that's crazy that shows a different level of like interest yeah you know what i'm saying so fellas make sure you know you play your cards right because it's chess yeah, it's a game. when you look at it as a game and you look at getting money as a game you look at get, getting women as a game you look at life as a game. It is a game. It is a game. You ever play Monopoly? It's, Man, it's literally been, it's been a while. same shit. You know what's it's crazy? Same shit. You know how people always have when they get around and they just keep getting enough money just to get around? That's how most people are mm -hmm. in life. That's a fact. They That's don't, a big fact. They Round don't, of applause to that, man. They get, it, they get the bare minimum just to make it around. They don't fucking sit here and, 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 and go far with they it. They settle. Yeah, they settle too quick.
And that's that's a that's a tough situation. You know, you don't want to be like that, bro. Don't yeah, settle, nah, bro. don't settle, bro. Because you know what's crazy is a lot of people give up because they feel like they don't have a support system. And what a lot of people don't realize is that support system usually comes from outside, not from your inner circle. You know yep. what I'm saying? Like most of the time, your inner circle, everybody's focused on their own thing. You know what I'm saying? And it's like. It's not that people might not believe in you or nothing like that. It's yeah. just like everybody's focused on doing their own thing, building their own thing. A stranger's more likely to be like, yo, bro, like, like I fucks with this. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, and it sounds weird. Like, it sounds strange. It shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't. You know but I mean? you know, some people that grow up with you and they're with you all the fucking time and they don't want to fucking hear your voice anymore. Think yeah, that's a it. fact. Like, let's that's just keep a it a bug. Like, they see you all the time. You think that I'm going to sit here and watch a whole fucking podcast about you and nigga? I know you. Yeah, facts. I, we have these same conversations off air. Off right? air. Like, I don't have to watch it. And that's, that's fine. Fact. And that's, that's fine. Fact. And that's great. That's cool. So that's... that's yeah, but a, it's still like a support. Like, nigga, at least yeah, like... Yeah, leave yeah. Leave a comment. Yeah, that's cool. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, like buy, I don't buy know, a t-shirt. Bro. You know I get, I mean? I get yeah. where you're coming from, though, yeah. bro. Because I've always been that type of person, too, where it's like, bro, like... I'm going to show love. You know, if my boy got something, I'll go on the video, like, leave a comment, like it, share it, whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? But it's weird, man. Like, people are weird with showing love. Like, it, like people act like showing showing some type of love is, like, like weak. Weakness, yeah. And it's like, nigga, that's actually stronger than not showing love. Yeah. Because most niggas are going to fucking hate. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going along with the crowd. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But... I don't know, man. Like, yeah, I agree, bro. You should support your friends, man. Support your friends always, and encourage them. Let them know that yeah. they can make it. And if they work, they will make it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes that's all you need. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to be fucking sitting here carrying a poster every day down the street. Like, you know no. what I mean? But, like, just show support, bro. Yeah. And just, like, again, like, it's always the people you just don't really know. Like, that's just what the fuck it is. Like, that's, that's, just, that's just what it is. Mentally, like... People don't like to be the the second guy. They want to be that first. They want to be the first. They want to be the best, you know. Yeah, and it's, it's like an ego thing. It's an ego thing, you know. And a lot of us men have it. No, we all have it, you know. We, and we, I feel like it's part of being a man. Yeah. And I feel like that's part of like that's declining though. Yeah. Like if you notice, our generation, we're a lot more competitive. Like it could be anything, bro. Yeah. We like, could be playing fucking Call of Duty. It's like yo, watch this, nigga. Yeah, you think you yeah, good? One on one, me, watch. bitch. What's up, nigga? What? My, my Katie was yeah, better like, years. Yo, what's, what's up? up, pussy? Like I don't think that like that. competitiveness though. That shit went away. It's it's not bad all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you constantly live in that rage where it's like, oh fuck it, like that's different, nigga. You need to calm the fuck down. Like, but life is a competition. You know what I'm saying? You should look at it that way because then it gives you incentive to actually fucking do something. If you're just here, not like, and it, and nothing matters and whatever the fuck, then why the fuck are you here? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know, bro. Like, I, I, it's just, it's a weird thing, man. It's a weird fucking thing, bro. People don't really, uh, they don't support you till it fucking happens. You know what fact. I mean? That's like, they'll, they'll, they'll act like they're there. You know what I mean? But when the time comes and like you really, really blow up and, you know, your hard work pays off, then people will be like, man, I told you, you know, congrats. Or, you know, that's why Post Malone made that song. Congratulations. Mm hmm. But listen, you know, man, it's like, true. Look, you just got to play your cards, bro. You got to play your cards and um, just understand everybody ain't going to support you. Everybody ain't going to be there for you. And that's just, it's just life, man. It's yeah. just life, man. Though, I'm telling you, bro, like, like, listen, when I was, like, like 10 years ago, I used to get real upset about shit like that. I swear, bro. I'd be like, yo, like, I invited this nigga over here. He didn't want to show up. Like, what the fuck, man? Fuck that nigga. And it's just like, bro, people don't have to be. Nobody's obligated to do shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the older you get, the more you realize that. It's like, bro, nobody's obligated to do anything. So the people that are there for you, bro, is like, show love. Because they don't have to be. Yeah. They don't fucking have to sit there and listen to you cry about your fucking relationship for an hour. Yeah. They don't. Nah, they just, they choose to <laughs> but be they there because they care. To. Yeah, yeah, like, we love you, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, come on, guys. Nah, like, that's, 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 that's a shitty, uh, it's just some people are just shitty too, bro. Like, <laughs> let's just keep it a bug. Some people are shitty. Like, come bro. on, just some people just don't really care unless it's fucking for them. That's a big fact. Like if it doesn't, of be- if, like, yeah, like, that's big facts. If it doesn't benefit them in any mm-hmm. type of way, 
like any type of way. That's why that's why I'm a cynical person because like whenever I do something or somebody does something for me or they're with me all the time, you or have something, that thought like, why are you doing? Why it? are you doing this and why are you doing that? So when I find out that man, you know, I put, I'm the type of dude that like I could read between the lines and I could and I could and I know that's what the gift. fuck is up. That's a gift and a curse. Yeah, yeah. It's like you know, like okay, that's why, why are you doing me that? You click, bro, because we be like there's sometimes where we'll be somewhere, bro. Yeah. We can just look at each other and be like, this nigga's bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this thing is bullshit, bro. Like, yeah, like, like for example, like somebody wants to hang out with you and they don't got no bud, and they know that you always smoke. Fact. Like you gonna bring the bud regardless, right? Like it doesn't matter. But yeah, that's, nah, just, that, that's just it's just little things like that. You know yeah. what I mean? Like you just yeah, like you peep shit and you're like, bro, what's the motive? Like most people have a motive. Some people really don't, and it's rare. And that's those are the people that you like. They kind of make you sit back and you'd be like, damn, bro, like. That, those people make you question even more. Yeah, like because wow. you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. That's you way, can't be this fucking nice. Yeah, what's your well, angle, yeah, guy? Yeah, I'll fucking going? stab you. Yeah, what's wrong with you? <laughs> and there's sometimes I'm just like, you know what? Fuck it. Nah, you bro. Know? You like, gotta do shit just to be, just because people need your help, nigga. Yeah, and it feels good. Like, yeah, like come it's on. just people need your help, bro. And if you were in that situation, you would want somebody to come fucking help you. Like if, bro, like so many people, like they just, they're, they're there until like, it's time to be there, bro. And it's like, bro, you're like, not really fucking there. It's like, fucking, <laughs> it's like fucking Cody and Toby looking at my tires and like, Hey man, just fucking, yo, put that bitch up, bro. bro Let's facts. fucking, I didn't like, ask for that. Facts. I told him no. And they were like, bro. no, 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 no. Come on. And it was just facts. like, damn, like certain things like that people do. And you just be like, man, like, bro, I'm grateful to have you as a friend. Yeah, bro. You Real know what talk. I mean? Everybody like, yeah. listen, bro. At the end of the day, bro, everybody ain't loyal. That's what I always say all the time, nigga. Like, watch actions, fuck words. You yeah. know what I'm saying? The actions will show you everything. Like, do they show up when you need them? Or is it just when it's fucking beneficial to them? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. It, like, just watch people. Because they'll let you know everything, like, everything you need to know about them and how they feel about you just by watching them. Bro. Just by watching. See what they do. See what, see what the fuck they do. Just sit back and watch, but... You know, what's, what's none of that fucking Listen, negative man, talk, man. Some shit, fuck these yeah, guys. fuck them. Fuck them all. Yeah. You got positive vibes. You see the fucking screen over here? Yeah. Nothing but positive vibes. But listen, man, something that I didn't sit back and watch was Squid Game, bro. Put me on game. What's up with that? No, man, that Squid Game shit is crazy as fuck. It's pretty much about, like, it's like a story about people with gambling problems where, like, they just get in debt and they just can't pay it out. God and everybody has their own issues. Like, you know, all y'all gambling. student loan niggas. <laughs> you know, pretty much. And they're all there. And they all get invited to play this fucking game. And it's they think it's like a normal game until people start really dying, like getting shot and like yeah. marked in front of them. And it's like stupid little fucking kid games that they would play. And you take one little mistake, like red light, green light, like green light. And then you don't, you know, you stop at the wrong time when they say red light Fuck, they and, shoot you, you and they the shoot you head. right in the head. <laughs> and that's just hey, how it bro. is. Listen. And that it tells you like, and throughout the 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 story yo line. they should do that for death row inmates that's what i'm saying and then it's the rich Imagine the rich shit. people are fucking watching it I like there's well yeah shit. there's wealthy people with masks on and they don't know each other's identity so it could be general man they know yeah are like, yo, you here yeah. <laughs> that's me yo you see the pig mask yo nigga? you seen the squid game <laughs> nah but the thing is is like they'll get put in a waiting room as well and people start stabbing each other because they're like man like i have to be the last one here anyways no, bro, I'm gonna kill all of you right now. So what if I just stab everybody here? <laughs> like that's how people are, like and the girls, old men, people were dying. You know what I mean? But it says a lot about people, like what they're willing to do yeah. for money. Yeah. And and just the concept of money. Because money isn't even fucking around. Bro. Yeah, but like they print billions of that shit every day, hundreds of millions of that shit every day. And it's just it, <laughs> I don't think it's hundreds and of it's millions. True. I'm exaggerating, but y'all know what I mean. These they print like twenty, twenty five million a day or some crazy. I don't know. Imagine being so far in debt that you have no choice but to do that. That's the position where these people are in. It's not like, oh, I'm seven thousand dollars in debt, man. You know, yeah. I'll fucking pay. No, no, nah, no, no. This is fifty million. Bro. It's, well, guess what? Maybe you shouldn't <laughs> fucking kept borrowing. Yeah. What the fuck? Like, yeah. sometimes you got to know yourself and stop fucking That's thing. digging yourself into a hole. That's the thing that, bro, I thought a drug issue was bad. Gambling is really bad. I didn't realize no, that until I was older. You know, that I didn't realize gambling was a real serious issue. I thought it was just a joke, you know? Like, but the older you get, you're like, wow, this is, this is bad. 
Yeah. You know, like it gets nah, really some bad. Some people sell their whole fucking life, bro. They'll sell their whole life. That's horrible. Don't do that, guys. Don't get Yeah, it. don't be that fucking guy. Please but listen, don't. man, we appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Go down in the comments. Let us know if we're fucking rocking, if we're not. And uh, listen, man, we're Liddy Titty. Yeah, don't gamble. And don't fucking gamble, <laughs> yeah, guys. Yeah, unless you want to scratch off and you get lucky. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love.